Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be working on the build a tribute page project that is a part of the new responsive web design course on Free Code Camp. Uh, the objective for today is to build an app that's functionally similar to the one that's provided by them. So let's go ahead and take a look. So Dr. Norman Borlaug, a man who saved billions of lives. Come down here, we have a photo with a description. And then underneath that, we have some sort of timeline. Um, and then at the bottom, we have a quote. And then uh, a phrase that's leading to an external link. So at this point, you get an idea for what we're trying to build. Something similar to this with your own, you know, um, twist to it, you could say. And if we go back here, the idea is, is for you to build a tribute page. And it can be towards anything, guys. The idea with this is like have fun with it. Um, whatever you're interested in, whether it's a, you know, a tribute page to someone, an individual, uh, an object, you know, a tribute page to a certain genre of music, a style, a time in history, whatever you're interested in. And um, by the end of this, you'll see what mine is. A tribute page for and um, it just kind of has to do with what I like and what I'm into but you can make yours uh, attributed to whatever you like so step one uh, your tribute page should have a main element with a correspondent ID of element which contains all other elements so we're gonna start with that You should see an element with an ID of title which contains a string, an example text that describes the subject of your tribute page. So we'll go ahead and make a h1 with an ID equals title. And for mine, guys, my tribute page is going to be uh, a tribute page to one of the greatest uh, sports cars that have that has ever been made uh, in history, uh, the Porsche GT3. So just to give you an idea of what mine is going to be about, that, that's what it's going to be about. So we'll say Porsche GT3 RS. And we'll go underneath that. And we'll say the greatest sports car in the world. So underneath that, if we go back and look at this, we need a picture. So we're going to go ahead and make a new div with a class of image container. Incorporate our image. Let's get our link. We'll do an alt of.
Porsche GT3 RS the class equaling Porsche image and ID of image. As you can see, this is what this is the image that I'm going to be using. It's just a image of the vehicle doing wind tunnel testing for aerodynamics and whatnot. So after that, um, what we need next is we need a caption for the image, kind of like how they have this over here. So we're going to create a new div with a class of caption ID of image caption close our div and then we're going to put our caption on the inside we're going to put Porsche GT3 RS wind tunnel testing and you can see that right there and then underneath that We are going to add another div with a class equaling tribute. And then inside our div we're going to create our P element with an ID of tribute info. And in here, um, the same way like how they put here's a timeline of his life will say here is the history of the Porsche GT3 RS road car And you can see that here. Then underneath that, we're going to have to create some sort of timeline like this with bullet points and dates and certain statistics, you know? So we're going to create a an ordered list element and inside that list we're going to create list items and we'll do Let's see if they ask for a specific amount. Doesn't say okay. Okay, so do as many as you want, guys. 
I'm going to do like 16. Because I know there are 16 variants of this car. Okay, so. So now what we're going to do is we are going to make our bullet points and we'll do that by making a span element with a class of bold And like I said, for your bulletin points, it's going to differ based on what you're creating uh, a tribute page for. Mine, because it's for a specific vehicle, and uh, because of that, um, my bullet, like you know how here they have the dates. For me, I'm not going to be posting dates. I'm going to be posting the different um how do you say like uh version or genre of the vehicle so the first ver the first form of the porsche uh, gt3 is called the 996.1 gt3 so that's going to be my first bulletin and then after that i'm going to write my information which you'll see here in a minute There you go. So the GT3 nameplate was introduced in 1999 as a part of the first generation of Porsche 996 model range, commonly known as the 9961, as a homologation model for the cars that entered the FIA GT3 Cup. So there you go. Now I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to repeat exactly what I did here but for different information okay the same thing just different information all over again so i'm not going to sit here and bore you guys with this i'm just going to copy paste it because i already have it and i'm going to show you guys exactly what it's going to look like afterwards so come here So all I did was the same thing that I did for the one that I did in front of you guys. I just repeated it. But now for the newer version of the vehicle, 996.2 GT3. And then I put my new information. And then you come down, 996.2 GT3 RS. And the new information. And if you look over here, this is what it looks like. So I have 16 of them. So if you look over here, we're pretty much almost there. Title, you know, image, the information down here, down here, and then something like this, something like this. So we'll go down here and try to finish this off. For our list, that's it. We don't need to do anything else. Um, where we will just do the same thing they did and like create a quote and even this doesn't even have to be real guys this could be completely made up the point of this project is to show that you can do this don't get caught up on oh I need to pick something to make a tribute for that's real you can make a tribute about something that's completely made up with made up information and statistics 
It's just to show that you know how to do this. So don't get caught up on that. So this div is going to have a class of a quote container. And our quote is going to be the fastest road car in the world. You know, just whatever you want. And then after, after that, we're going to make a P element with a class of quote. Who's it by? We'll say, you know, um, the Nurburgring, which is one of the most famous race tracks in the world. Like, let's just say they said um, it's the fastest car in the world, you know, and then they finish off with something like this, you know, saying, hey, um, if you want more information, click this entry, blah, 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 blah. So we'll kind of do the same thing. So we'll make an H3. Inside here, we'll make a div. Oh, sorry, we don't need that. We need our quote. Um, we'll say, check out videos of the GT3 RS lap time. And then we'll make a This look a little bit better. ID attribute link an href, and we'll put a link to the video. And underneath that, we'll say target link YouTube video. Okay, let's see. Awesome. So now we have everything that we pretty much need for our script. We just need to start making it look nice and making it look better uh, to make it look something that's presentable like this. So we will. Go over here and above our main, we're going to make sure to link our HTML and then let's get rid of all this and then I will show you guys what I will put and then like I said you can change it up guys you can make it whatever you want but it's kind of like decorating it to your preference to what you like as long as it meets 
the requirements required for the um, uh, for what they want to run the tests go ahead and go do whatever you want to do but I'll show you guys what we're gonna put so the first thing we're gonna do is we want uh, to all have a padding of zero and a margin of zero Uh, we want our H1 to have a padding of, let's say, 20 pixels and a font family of, let's say, Arial. Okay. Then we will go to our H2. And make the font size 20 pixels with a background color. Um, choose whatever you want. And we'll do a margin of 10 pixels, padding of 10 pixels and a border radius of 10 pixels. Let's do a body, background, color for the body will be There we go. That gave us what we were looking for. And then we'll do a text align. Center. There we go. And then we'll do a class image container. Uh, with a margin of auto padding of 30 pixels and a background color do a pound 002 And then we'll do um, class Porsche image with an object fit contain a border radius 10 pixels a max width of a hundred percent uh, display will be block um, height will do auto and a margin of auto class caption we'll do a padding top of five pixels And then class tribute 
we'll do a text align. Adding of 30 pixels by 70 pixels. And we'll do a max width of 600 pixels and a margin of 10 pixels and auto. And um, hmm, let's see. Prefer that to be in the middle. Okay. We'll do a background color of. Okay, now we'll do a class tribute info, the text align um, to the left, obviously, padding is going to be about 30 by 70, we'll do a max width. of 600 pixels margin 10 pixels and auto we'll do a background color of 002 Back to the left. Um, let's get rid of this and do a font size of 20 pixels. And we'll do a font family of Arial and we'll do a padding of 30 pixels now for our class bold we'll do a font weight of bold our list items we'll do a margin 20 pixels there we go and for our quote we'll do a margin of 30 by 30 by 5 with a font style of italic and then we've got our quote author with a text indent 30 pixels
Let's go back over here. H3. So we should have everything that that is required. Um, ultimately, we will have to run the test and see if there's anything that we're missing. Like I said, um, you should have a main element with an ID of main, all these. So let's run it and see what it says. And boom, there you go, guys. It was really simple, really easy. Just follow the steps that I did, um, but also get creative with it. Try to make it your own. Try to make it unique. Um, be interesting with the font, with the padding, with the size, the, you know, um, the background colors, um, and just try to have fun with it. The idea of this is for you to learn the functionality of the page for you to learn how to make the tribute page um, hopefully that helped you guys if you have any questions let me know if you liked it give it a thumbs up and have a great day and i'll see you on the next project